Well, I'm here to go paint with my uh, outdoor painting friends, and uh, yeah, I think we got a bit of rain. Don't think that was supposed to be in the uh, weather forecast, but I'm debating. Do I go out and try to paint this hideously complex building, <laughs> or do I turn around and go home to where it's nice and cozy? I'm going to give it a go. This is an old feed and grain building that's been here forever and I've painted it for about 10 years now. But uh, it looks like they've been restoring it, which is awesome for, you know, people using the building. And it's terrible for painting because now it's all nice and shiny instead of cool and beaten up looking. <laughs> and look at this, this was a, an empty lot behind it and now there's like this brand new building. And it's really convenient that the grain building was here because you can see these old rail tracks and there's one of the original stations and I think we might be actually getting a train coming. So of course it stopped raining and the moment I start setting up it starts raining again because that's what happens. We'll give it a go. It's just pre-wetting everything. That's all. I mean, if this was going to happen, I'd rather it happen now than later. Ow! <laughs> Disaster. It's got to clear up. Yep. The sun's shining, and it's raining cats and dogs. Alright, so it's been raining in the sun for 10 minutes. I think I'm uh, going to go in my car and try sketching there. And if it doesn't let up then, um, I guess we're going to call it a day. You can't win them all. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> it stopped raining. Let's run. Quick, quick, quick. The sun has come out. Crazy Colorado. Go grab my stuff all over again. Like literally in 10 minutes, we went from overcast and rainy to sunny. So let's do this. Yeah, this is still wet. <laughs> Just in case. Well, that was fun. Hi there, camera. I just dropped you. Ironically, I have to wet my paints after all that rain. <laughs> Should have just left it open. No, I know better because <clears throat> there's uh, sometimes there's a lot of particulates in rain and it can actually mold your paints, so not always the best idea. Okay, so sun has come out and it's super bright so I apologize if this is not going to turn out but I'm going to put down a horizon line real quick So the 
such a complex building. So it is just kind of and the horizon's actually here. Now, I'm not going to do the entire thing with my ruler here, just enough to give me some good guidelines. challenge is to get this drawn out before the next rain squall shows up, which could be at any time. So I'm in a hurry now. It's lunchtime. Normally I would make this a lot more exact. We don't have time for that. Do the chickadees? So I'm trying to keep these lines more parallel. It's a little tricky when you're in a hurry. Oh, there goes the sun. Knew that was going to happen. Should have taken a photo. Such a weird building. It's been for about a hundred years, I think.
just Totally making stuff up now. Okay, so that took about ten minutes to draw. If you can see that, I'm going to record it with my other camera. Okay, so I did a really crazy, quick 10-minute drawing of a very complex subject, but it's just to get the idea of it. And I'm going to do a quick single wash and call it good before the next storm rolls in. <laughs> The sun came out quickly, quickly. There we go. Always get a picture when the sun's up, if that's what you want to paint, which I think I do. The theme of today is on and off clouds.
awesome. Oh, and actually, I like to use my flat, a little flat brush for architectural stuff so I don't get the lines all messed up. See how much easier it is with a flat brush. And this will be the same. Because what I'll do is I'll come back in. And do this again here in a minute. titanium buff. Should have could have used a cooler color actually, but this will work for now. Because my goal here is to get this first layer in. It's just a quick sloppy layer. And uh, I think if I did this again, I'd use a cooler color, but the sun's coming out, so we'll pretend that it's hitting the building. So I just realized I did want to put a little bit of something here in the foreground. I didn't want to put the cars in. Okay, we'll put in the railroad tracks. Quite low there. Okay, well, take it to the studio because I feel rain coming again. See if we can find any artists in here. Still no luck, but I got some coffee. <sighs> well, the rain is starting to let up a little bit. I'm gonna go and check out my favorite little antique store and uh, then we'll see if we can do some painting. I just found out that uh, Don, who runs Dickens uh, Alley here, might be going out of business. So I'm kind of bummed, but I got some really good deals on some books. I'll have to show you here in just a second.
New wind today, weather. Urgh. But yeah, just as I'm fed up with the rain, it stopped after I put everything back up in my car for the third time. So it's on those kind of days, you kind of have to just cut your losses, you know? And that's okay. It's just been a long time since I've decided to go out painting with my local plein air club and uh, the fact that A, nobody showed up or if they did, I didn't run into them and B, the weather was just so difficult. Uh, it was a little bit trying, but you persevere, that's what you do. if you can see or not I'm gonna try to show you a gallery I used to be in through the glass here there right there that gallery is the one I was in for a number of years but the trick to plein air painting is just don't go in with a lot of um, preconceived expectations because if you start doing that you're gonna get really bummed out when things don't go the way you want them to Okay, now I am heading out to my writers group that I do every week and uh, as you can see the Sun is staying out later and later which is awesome How are you? Hope you've had a good week. I am in Loveland, Colorado again, meeting with a fellow creative doing a top secret project. And uh, so we're meeting at uh, Della Bada's Muse here, which is one of my favorite coffee shops in all of Northern Colorado. It's uh, owned by uh, a gentleman whose wife is a local sculptor and he is her Muse. That's why it's called Dalabara's Muse. And uh, so they have the um, sculpture studio just down this way. And then right across the way, uh, they bought the house here and made it into a coffee shop, a little boutique coffee shop. It's amazing. So come on, let's go check it out.
in Colorado, so the eclipse is not going to be as spectacular as you can see. This is the furthest it'll go. But uh, there's still some cool shadows and things going on. Everything still looks a little weirdly tinted. Look at all those little eclipses. see it. And unlike during a full eclipse, our shadows are slightly fuzzy on the edges, not nearly as sharp as it was during a full eclipse. And everywhere you look, there's teeny tiny eclipses going on, even in the shadows here. Someone's nibbling up all the spring grass. your hiding spot. It's the Brady's hiding spot. <laughs> 